What's up, what's up guys? Uh, this is Teddy. We're gonna be going over a very, very important support and resistance idea and setup today. But first, make sure that you guys drop a like on the video. These things take me a while in midday to make and edit and make sure that they're right and stuff. So drop a like uh, and let's get into it. Today we're talking about master zones. What master zones are is when a support lines up with another support or a resistance lines up with another resistance. So there's just multiple bounces or rejections in one singular area that create a very, very dense and very, very, I guess, high probability zone. This is thick zones. These two, this zone at the top and this zone on the bottom is what is called thick zones. It's my indicator on trading view if you guys do want to use it. But this bottom zone is the very, very important part of this entire chart. This has a red zone overlapping with a green zone. What that means is the red zone is a one day low. So sometime, you know, on Friday, we made a low inside of this red zone. And then this green zone is the five day low. So someday outside of Friday, this was not on Friday, we made a low at this green zone. They overlap. So we have two bottoms in a similar area. They overlap creating a master zone. And then what do we do today? We bottom right in that master zone. It's a very, very high probability area that we're going to bounce out of a master zone because we've had multiple bounces in that area before. It's a strong zone. There's a lot of confluence, there's a lot of suits, there's a lot of people with a lot of money who are willing to buy in that zone and they've shown it in the past. That's why those zones work better than say uh, just a one color zone, which it did work today, but usually it's not as high probability as these double zones. I don't want you guys to get uh, that mixed up with these zones where it is a red and a green overlapped. What that means is that the five day low was the same as the one day low. So on Friday, we made a low and that's the one day low because that's Friday's low. And then that also means that that is the five day low, meaning that there is no other day within the previous five days that was as low as the low on Friday. I just wanted to clarify for you guys. So if you have any questions, make sure you reply or DM. I appreciate you guys watching these videos and have a good rest of your night.